hello again then moving on as you would have seen in the last video this is going to be about changing the oil so these are the things that we'll be requiring a 10 mm spanner a 10 mm uh, lm i'm sorry here uh, socket and an 8 mm socket to drain the oil from these 21 mm socket for opening up this again draining the oil and 10 mm to take the bash plate out as i discussed this ding i need to fix that and on the other side, we would be requiring 8 mm ones, these three ones, uh, because we'll be changing the oil filter. This is the part number for that, 99 bucks. That's a sweet pricing. Where's the part number? Yeah, part number there you see. Okay, oil level is at this, and uh, we cannot get the sockets in here. So we'll be using a simple uh, wrench, so yeah. Uh, let's move on. I'll open these up first. I'll open these six. So one, two, three, four, and two on the other side. Six. Let's catch up. So all the six bolts, as you can see, are out, and this is what you get. So it would have been a good idea to put something beneath it, but that's okay. So the bash plate is off. Now, all that you need to do from here is to free up that cable so we can take it out and this cable so I have a set of pliers I'll just loosen that with the clamp I'll show you there we go so first one is this just pull it and this is the second one and here comes the bash plate out now I hope you can see where I have dinged it. So just try to put it back in place and then we'll move to opening the rest of it. So here we go, just some dings later. As you can see, this is back in place. Did not break, I was worried. Now I'll just show you something else that I have done. Of course I can wash it, but at a later time. Now this is the EVAP unit. Uh, here we go, yeah. And uh, there was some vibration whenever I was riding. So what I have done is I've just cut out a small plastic bit placed it under this and this is the belt that is used to tighten it I wish I could have cleaned it I'm a little short on time today but well later a little bit of dirt never killed something outside the engine at least so here we go the belt back on this will go back into these clamps and we'll drain the oil now this will be put at the last stage but job good done I say so let's open these things up. You can see that. And we're just gonna loosen it. That was a bit of an effort, but anyways. Now once this is done, of course you can uh, open these two 8 mm bits and take the entire uh, strainer assembly out, but I'll do that, at, uh, I mean today itself, but after draining some oil out. So let's just uh, pour the Thing out and here we go yeah still looks kind of okay they say if you can still make a thread whenever you are pulling the oil like this that shows the engine has still some good life left in it uh, I can yeah I can pull in some thread so, but, well, I'll be changing it anyways now. 5,500 is uh, it for me. Now, let's go to that side in the meantime. And uh, well, let's first let it drain. That looks okay. <laughs> Might have done a few more kilometers, but, well, can't help it. So, let's just open up the uh, strainer. Need to clean that as well. For that job, we'll be requiring 8 mm bits. Change to eight, and you can see that. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. There we go. So 
this is the o-ring that is used i heard some people eventually uh, getting the bike said that they were not getting the o-rings but i did so and, uh, be careful you should not shear it or tear it here we go oh this looks clean i'm not sure why they ask us to clean it but well it's all i'll clean it now and this is the way up always remember that the tapered side stays like this i hope you can see that so this is the way it is going to go in now let's open up the oil filter okay then uh, so on the oil filter side again 8 mm bit opening anti clockwise don't apply too much pressure while tightening or loosening keeps things intact now once i open it some oil is going to trickle from this side as it has already started so let's catch that yeah bigger pan oil pan would help but this is what i have and let's see so even more trickling out trickling out that has to happen of course i'll be dropping this uh, oil to the mechanics and uh, they know best how to sell it for uh, whatever and recycle it so yeah that's why i just collecting it on in the pan now let me open this up and i'll catch up again now, once you have uh, opened this here it what it looks like uh, there is a gasket to keep the oil from coming out underneath the gasket there is also space for o-ring but they have not used it they decided to go for the gasket itself there is a spring to keep tension on the oil filter and the lower nut always remember this this is the lowest one so the long nut goes at the bottom let me take this out put the new one in so very carefully just try it a bit out holding from one side and this should come off there it goes there is the new one waiting now this side is going to go that way and it's always a good idea to slightly just uh, uh, lubricate this so put it in here the oil is not going to come out right now so i'll be just putting in some oil just to do this and that is it nothing too excessive to take care of this lubed put in remember long nut in the bottom let's put it back up so the air still uh, strainer is clean this side goes in like this and put the bolt back on this as well the second one will go in here let's tighten this and uh, all that's left to do now is fill it up with a bit of oil so back on this side that side had been tightened the drain nut as well as the strainer uh, 8 mm bolts as well as the 21 mm now on this side just checking again yeah not too tight not too loose that is it now we'll be putting in uh, the engine oil uh I think I'll go with the about 1800 ml till I get up to the little bit over the top mark of the oil, and that's usually somewhere around 1700 to 1800 ml. Let's see how much I get in uh, this time. So one liter has already gone in, and uh, this is what it looks like in the window. So if you have the oil level mark at the lower uh, notch, that means you just have about one liter of oil. This is almost drained. So yeah, let's see what the second one does. That was interesting. So poured in about 1600 ml, and the glass window is full. And here, I hope you can see, we are at yeah, 500, 400. So yeah, 1600 went in. So I think the service manual or the user manual was right. 1600 goes in. Uh, 
last time what I did was I poured the oil little bit out of uh, this one right here and that one as well uh, I don't think much came out of this place but yeah I poured this maybe that's where we're able to get uh, 1800 but yeah if you don't open these two like I did not this time you get 1600 ml I wonder how the service guys keep telling me that you need to put in 2.5 that is just not happening as you can clearly see that is just not happening but any which ways, that is the oil part done. Let's take this out. And here we go. Oh, why is we at it? Let's just open this. I'm oh, sorry, clear this. And here we go. That is good. I think again, uh, another engine oil change would be about five to six thousand kilometers. And let's start it now. It's, once I started, obviously some of the oil is gonna go up, down, so the level is gonna reduce. Maybe I would top up then. I'll see. First, let's start it. it started out all right, didn't it? And as you can see, as soon as I started, the oil went down. Now I'll let it run for a minute. Uh, then I'll shut the engine. The oil will start uh, filling the lower sump again from all the areas like head, clutch and everything. And then we'll get the exact reading if I need to add more oil or not. So, here we go. It does seem a bit smooth, no doubt. Now let's just shut it. And we'll observe the window fill up with oil again. And I think it should land somewhere. Uh, well, we'll see where it lands. So, back uh, here again. I waited for about 15 minutes. And this is uh, what you get. Let me get closer. So, this is the level that we get 1600 ml. Uh, I would keep an eye out anything anytime it goes below that I'll add up as uh, top up is required but yeah sticking with the 1800 for now uh, any which ways uh, that was it and that is how the oil change is done now we'll just put back the uh, bash plate back in and I have already taken it out so I don't think you just have to connect the right pipes and uh, put the six not 10 amendments back <laughs> 